Hello Cancer, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Cancer, this is your reading for the month of March and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. In this reading, Cancer will see your energy, uh, what you need to know for the month of March and what is the energy of the person you're thinking about, you're dealing with, you will be dealing with. So let's get started now. There is an extended reading for this one. Link for the same is in description box and comment section. So let's get started. So we have Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is telling me, Cancer, that there is some sort of heaviness that you are carrying inside you. And maybe in the month of March, you will try to find ways to release that heaviness. Like probably uh, you might find yourself uh, crying intermittently. You might find yourself uh, like getting lost in your own thoughts and zoning out from the <clears throat> from others. You might even find yourself trying to spend a lot of time with yourself. Okay. You, you will be like, I want to isolate from the rest of the world. I want to spend some time with myself. I want to do things all alone. Okay. So the heaviness that you are carrying inside you, that will try to come out in the month of March. And it might try to come out through different ways. Like probably you might have some disturbed sleep. Okay. Probably you might uh, cry. Probably you might uh, feel like I don't want to talk to anyone. I want to be an introverted person in the month of March. Okay, so you might observe certain things uh, like this about yourself. But this is, and see, everyone has a different way to heal themselves. Okay, everyone has a unique way to heal themselves. And uh, you know what? We should always do what uh, what is best suited for us and how we want to be at that point of time it's absolutely fine if you're like i want to isolate myself from the rest of the world i don't want to be a social animal i don't want to i want to spend as much time as possible with myself doing things enjoying my time okay uh pampering myself and probably even crying intermittently so it's, it's your way and it's completely understandable, okay? And you, the world doesn't have to understand what you are feeling, what you are thinking, okay? So, uh, that's, that's what I see. That's the energy for you guys for the month of March. You will be more focused towards healing yourself. You will be, and one of the reasons, see, we are talking about nine of swords. The number nine is a, is a number which sort of indicates that you're about to complete a cycle. Okay. You're about to complete uh, whatever it can be like uh, any previous cycle or maybe you are, you're almost uh, about to heal yourself completely. Whatever this recidive element is within you. Okay. Uh, that needs to be flushed out of your uh, mind, body and your system. So... There is something that has come to a completion in your life. And month of March is a month where you're probably trying to uh, take that one last step towards completing this cycle. Okay, that's what I'm getting, especially with number nine. Okay. Uh, I also feel cancer that you might have some... Some, you might have some different experiences, like you might feel the energy of someone. I especially feel like your ancestors will be very much uh, there for you in the month of March. They will be very much in the vicinity and you will feel like there is constantly someone in and around me. Okay. Again, nine... And this is fantastic. I mean, after Nine of Swords, we have Nine of Cups. So, whatever you are doing in the month of March is actually leading towards a wish fulfillment. Okay? 
uh, you're helping yourself heal, you're completing certain cycles, whatever actions you are taking, it is actually helping you to move towards a certain wish fulfillment. There is a wish fulfillment that is happening for you guys, Cancer. And again, we have number nine over here. So whatever I said, this message about number nine, that you're about to complete a cycle, that has only gotten validated over here. Okay. Now, this wish fulfillment will differ from person to person. For some of you, this can be about starting or launching something new a new project a new business for some of you this can be about uh, you are interested in someone and that same very same person is coming towards you with an offer asking you out on a date okay it can be like you are already going out with someone and this person is uh, is making an offer to take this connection to the next level okay you're finding someone very special for some of you, you, I do feel like monetary gains are happening over here. There is, <clears throat> there is a solid wish fulfillment that is about to happen. Okay. Then we have Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is telling me that... Although, yes, I do see your focus will be more towards yourself, healing yourself and showing love to yourself but i also feel like you know that you are a reservoir of love and if you feel like someone needs your love you won't hold yourself back i do see you showing generosity when sharing love and care and affection with someone i do feel like especially i feel like you will you will try to connect with the elements of nature in the month of March. You will be like, I want to spend some time in dogs' orphanage and animal shelters. I want to spend some time over there. And maybe by the end of March, you will even adopt pets. Even though you might be having uh, an already existing pet, still you will be like, no, I want to adopt one more. Okay, so you might adopt a, a dog or a cat or any other animal of your like. Because you will be like, I want to share love. And I want to share love with the pure souls that deserve to be loved. And who better than animals? They are the purest souls on this planet Earth. No one can challenge this fact. For some of you, because we have Queen of Cups next to Nine of Cups, definitely a wish fulfillment uh, in your love life is about to happen. Okay. Uh, you, I'm hearing for some of you, marriage might get fixed. For some of you, you're going to meet someone really special. Okay. So wish fulfillment is definitely happening over here. Oh my God. Again, Nine of Pentacles. What is happening? Cancer. Like the number nine is there for you literally everywhere. I think so you will see a lot of 999 in the month of March. Again, more or less, this is getting confirmed that you are completing certain cycles. And nine of pentacles is actually a card of uh, freedom, financial freedom or independence. Uh, it also denotes... Uh, singlehood but because we have so many cards with number nine i do feel like if you are single for long that cycle is about to end i don't see you remaining single for long and nine of pentacles is also an energy where it, it also indicates tremendous amount of abundance and now the spread the below spread is about love okay so when we are talking so much of abundance in terms of your love life i do feel that uh, I do feel that first of all there is a wish fulfillment and secondly there is a lot of satisfaction like you'll be happy and satisfied that you have made a right choice when it comes to love and romance okay uh, or, or like someone is coming towards you in the month of March and you will feel like this person literally 
uh, is is fulfilling all the criterias of a future partner that you want to have in your life okay and most importantly i do see like the new connection that will happen in your life in the month of march it is going to be very soul satisfying there is there will be a lot of happiness there will be a lot of love and there will be a lot of equal give and take that's what i'm getting because with nine of pentacles i am getting that you are absolutely satisfied with the situation okay absolutely satisfied with whoever is coming towards you your soul has given a green signal that's what i'm getting then we have ace of pentacles a solid offer is coming towards you something that you won't be able to deny that's what i'm getting cancer an offer that you won't be able to deny hmm for some of you this is a fated connection this is the person with whom you are meant to spend your life with okay i mean when we talk about aces it is always that hand that is coming out of the cloud that is either holding a pentacle either holding a sword or a wand or a cup but that hand that hand is 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 the hand of universe it is an opportunity sent by the universe and universe is sending that opportunity to you because universe wants you to take up that opportunity it is a divine it's a divine plan that's what i'm getting this offer that is coming towards you this opportunity that is that is coming towards you will give you a lot of stability the the best thing when it comes to your love life is we have both the cards as pentacle cards and pentacle represents stability so and i also feel like an offer a very solid offer that you won't be able to uh, you won't be able to reject such kind of an offer is coming towards you and again it's it's right below ace of pentacles is right below nine of cups so this this is the kind of offer that you were waiting for your entire life that's what i'm getting eight of cups eight of cups is telling me cancer that to make this connection happen there is something that you need to let go of okay there is something and i also feel see your first card also started with healing message okay and why healing is needed because there is some sort of residue pain or fear or whatever you are carrying inside you that's why the energy is like you have to focus on healing you have to focus on something that you need to let out of your mind body and system primarily by crying or probably doing your what you think is best for you okay but eight of cups is also telling me that you have to let go off of something you have to let go off of of a memory of somebody you have to let go off of uh some pain or something it started with the same message and it is also ending with the same message there is certain pain there is some anxiety or something that you're carrying inside you fear and insecurities and you have to walk away from that if you really want to enjoy this uh opportunity that that is coming towards you eight of cups also next to nine of pentacles and ace of pentacles is telling me you won't remain single for long even that message is getting repeated you won't remain single for long for some of you cancer if you some of you may think that the offer is not right this is again applicable for very few of you but then again it's an offer sent by the divine so i would say that without knowing the person well 
don't take any kind of call in this entire situation okay this is an opportunity that has been presented to you and it has been presented to you because universe wants you to work on that okay all right i hope this resonates and uh, hit like share and subscribe and comment down below link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you one action that will take towards you and likely conclusion between you and this person Alrighty, take care, have a great time and bye-bye.